Hi, I'm Shari. And I'm Jen. We're from Karma Kids Yoga, and we're so excited to share partner poses with you today. Partner poses are great for everyone. You can do partner poses with your friends, with your grown-ups. You can do family partner poses. And we're just really excited to be able to share them with you and what we do at Karma Kids Yoga. So let's start. We're going to start with some seated poses. We're going to face our partners, legs wide apart, foot to foot, right? And we're going to hold hands in the middle. And we're going to seesaw, which is the name of this pose, back and forth. Here we go. Seesaw, 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 seesaw. Freeze. Now, if I was a smaller child, so this would be if you have kids of the same size or grown-ups, the child's feet would go inside the grown-up's legs because obviously kids' legs are a little shorter than us grown-ups. And we same would thing. still hands, hold hands. Right? And notice, I'm not pulling or yanking my partner. I'm moving very slowly and mindfully, being careful not to hurt them. And we can take this seesaw pose into a whirlpool or a mixing bowl by moving <gasps> in a big circle in one direction, and then maybe the other direction, and then coming back to center. We can also grab opposite wrists and we're going to lean all the way back with the other arms to feel a great stretch. <sighs> and then, of course, switching sides. Oh. And we can take this pose into our partner boat pose. So coming to connect foot to foot, we find the best way is to lift one foot up and then push into your feet and lift the other foot up for boat pose. From here, we can roll back and see if we can come back into the pose if you wanted an added challenge. Let's try it. Here you we go. Let go, though. One, two, two three. three. Roll, roll back. back. We Yay. Yay! We can also row, which is another challenging way Shh. to work our core muscles and still have fun with my partner. Gently pushing into each other's feet. And if you know any songs about rowing on a boat, feel free to sing them. <laughs> From here, we can take it into our partner, Lotus Flower. So reaching our hands inside our legs and reaching one foot up again, and then the other. But this time, our arms are in the middle, right? And again, if we want to challenge ourselves, we can rock back. One, two, three, roll, roll back. back. Ooh, ooh, and we did it. And then even bigger challenge, this is the big one. We can go from partner lotus to partner boat. And back, and back to again. Lotus. And back, and back to, boat. to boat. And back. And back. I can do this all day long. <laughs> and then from here, we can take it to our talking turtles pose. So coming into turtle pose, feet on the floor, reaching our arms up to the sky, spider walking our fingertips underneath our knees and hiding in our turtle shell. Because sometimes you feel shy. I do sometimes. Sometimes I feel shy. And then slowly we can peek our turtle heads up and say, <gasps> hello. Hello, turtle. And we can hide again. And one more time, peeking those heads up and sticking out our turtle tongues. And hide. And then slowly releasing, coming up, shaking it out. Fun. This pose is called lounge chair pose. It's so relaxing. So just like a lounge chair, my legs are laid out nice and straight and long in front of me. Uh, I'm going to come forward, and Jen is going to lie back on her lounge chair. She's going to kick out, take deep breaths, feel the sun on her face, have an icy lemonade, right, and just relax. She experiences a great chest opener, and I get an amazing forward bend with some weight on it. And after a few breaths, we'll start to sit up, and we need to move ourselves a little closer together. Okay, we always lose a little space. And now I get to kick out on the lounge chair. Oh, let me hold this for just a few breaths. 
Now, if I were a little kid and Shari was my grown-up, she wouldn't lay on me with all of her body weight, so grown-ups can just gently lean into their hands for a little extra support, so as not to squash their little ones. So now we're going to try our sunbathing rock pose or lizard on a rock. We're going to start by Shari coming into rock pose or what we call mouse pose or child's pose, curling yourself into a little ball. And I'm going to come to sit right on Shari's sacrum, the hard part of her back, right where her pants seam is. And I'm going to slowly connect there. How's that feel, Shari? That feels fine. Checking in with her. I'm going to kick out my legs and lay down, get a sunbathe rock. And Cherry's going to grab my wrist for a little extra stretch. <sighs> and this feels good both for the person on top and the person on the bottom. Now, if Jen were a toddler, she'd be a lot shorter, and her legs might dangle on the ground. So if I were her grown-up, I can simply reach my arms back and around to make a seatbelt to hold her in place so that she can relax and not feel like she's going to slide or fall off. And then to come out, the best way and the safest way, no matter um, how tall the person on top of you is, is for the person on the bottom to slowly start to sit up, to bring them back to their knees or their feet. And if you're in a parent and child class, you as the teacher may need to actually help get the little guys on the grown-ups back because it's not so easy for them. All right, now we're going to move into partner twists. So I'm going to sit facing my partner. However, I'm going to need to stagger legs with my partner so my knee meets Jen's ankles, and her knee meets my ankles. We're going to sit up nice and tall. Both of us are going to take our left hand and bring it behind our back. With our right arm, our right hand, we're going to grab the hand that's behind our partner's back. We're going to make sure that we're back of the elbow to back of the elbow. If we were inside of the elbow, we lose a couple of inches of space here, and I want to make sure to get as much twist as I can. So make sure you're back of the elbow to back of the elbow with your partner. Now from here, sit up nice and tall. Breathe in. As you breathe out, turn and twist over that left shoulder. <sighs> and hold for a few breaths. <sighs> and after a few breaths, we're going to release and, of course, stagger the other way. So again, my ankles meet Chen's knees. Her knee meets my ankles. This time, we're going to take both of our right hands behind our back. With our left hand, we're going to grab the hand behind our partner's back, making sure we're back of the elbow to back of the elbow. And then again, we'll sit up tall. Breathe in. As we breathe out, we'll twist over that right shoulder. Ah. So much fun to twist with your partner. Breathe in. One more breath out. Ah. And you can hold for as long as feels good. And then from here, we're going to come into one of my personal favorite partner poses, cat and cow massage. I think it kind of feels like the pedicure chair when you go to get your toenails done. So just like before, I'm going to sit on the hard part of Sherry's back, right where the edge of her pants is. And I'm going to slowly lower down. How's that feel, Sherry? Is that okay? And I'm going to be mindful. I'm going to take my head to this side of Sherry so she knows where I'm going. And I'm going to slowly just lower my head down and do nothing while Shari moves through cat and cow. And we can become a two-headed monster when she lifts her head. And I'm doing nothing. Notice I'm not bending my arms. I'm just doing cat and cow as I would normally do. If I bent my arms, Jen might slide off and... We don't want that to happen. We want her to feel as safe and relaxed as possible. And just to give you another view, we'll just do it once more from the side. So same thing. I'm going to come on down to sit. And Shari will do her thing. I'm not pushing into my feet. I'm not trying to help her at all. I'm just cat and cowing with my partner on top. And then, of course, we would switch so we both get a chance to try because it just feels so good. And then, now that we've finished seated poses, we can move into some of our standing partner poses. Um, we can start with our um, partner L-Dog. So L-Dog, at the wall we do where it makes an L shape, we're going to do this on our partners. We're going to stand back to back, heel to heel, and we're both going to come into down dog. Seeing our partners underneath us. Hi, Hi Jen. <laughs> and then slowly I'm going to take the top of my foot. So I'm not going to push my toenails into Shari. I'm going to take the top of my foot, one foot at a time. 
And then I'm going to slowly walk my hands in, lift my tushy to the sky and say hi. Hi, Jen. Hello. I see you. I see Silly you. Face. And then the prettiest way to come out of this pose, the most graceful way is to just carefully hop off, shake out those wrists. And then, of course, switch. From here, we can move into fountain pose. Let's stand up tall, holding on to wrists. Stand with our feet together. Lift your chest up to the sky first. Imagine that something grabbed your breastbone and lifted it up. And then slowly start to lean back. <sighs> For fountain. What a lovely chest opener. And now we're going to move into even Steven. So we're still standing with our feet together, um, with our own feet and our partner's feet. So there's four feet completely together. From here, we're going to both start to lean back. We want our arms to be straight so that we can find our counterbalance, right? It takes a couple seconds. I think we found it. I feel that we found it, and we did. But it's something that you have to feel. From here, we're going to let go of one arm. Ta-da! Ta-da! And then, of course, the other side. Ta-da! Ta all right, from here, we're going to move into a chair pose. So start to bend your knees. We're going to have to find our counterbalance again. And, oh, I think we just found it. Oh, I, oh, so. I lost it. There we go. And we're going to let go of this arm. Ta-da! This next one's called Moving Mountains. We're going to face our partners. We're going to put our hands up to the sky. Now, the goal is to get as far away from each other with our feet as possible. So we're going to be pushing this time instead of pulling. And we're going to keep moving our feet away from each other, finding our counterbalance again, right, as we draw our bellies forward. No bottom sticking out, right? So we found our counterbalance, and we'll try to get a little further away from each other, drawing our bellies in. Thinking stiff as a board. Ah! <laughs> and then coming out of it. <laughs> nice job, Shari. From here, we're going to move into partner trees. Partner trees are so much fun because there's so many variations. Just like there are so many different kinds of trees outside in the parks and in nature. So we'll start by facing each other. And we're going to reach our branches up to the sky, connecting palm to palm. And we're going to grow roots out of our feet. And we're going to root down through our outside leg. And we're going to bring our far apart leg up together, mirroring each other in tree pose. And then what we do on one side, we have to do on the other. And then maybe if Shari stays where she is, I can switch. Um, Both of our right legs are up. And we can decide, easier or harder. And then switching again. Awesome. I think this one's easier. I'm not sure. Yeah, me neither. From here, we can also just come side to side, keeping our palms connected. Outside leg comes into our inner thigh growing those branches. I think I'm going to be a jelly bean tree today. I'm going to be a cupcake tree. Yum. Chocolate. Oh, of course. And then from here, we can get a little closer, and we can actually just go hip to hip. Got to leave a little bit of space, and then bring our outside legs up. Arms extend. Find your balance. We could bring our hands together. We could bring in front of our hearts. We could make a heart. How about that? And then slowly releasing. We can also go facing the opposite direction. So with our backs and just trying it again, same thing. Pardon our backs facing you. Let's bring our feet together behind our backs. And then we can also go back to back. Making our trees back to back. Connecting palms down below. We'll take our outside leg. So our leg closest. And whoop. Coming into partner tree. <laughs> and that's what makes partner poses so much fun because sometimes you've got to figure it out with your partner. Now we're going to move into a partner warrior series. So stand next to your partner. Both of you put your inside legs forward. Right? Our feet are connected, but not the back feet. We'll worry about that later. So stand with both of your torsos facing forward. We're going to both reach our arms up to the sky for warrior one pose. Bend that front knee. From here, open up your arms, warrior two. Grab hold of the hands of your partner in the front and in the back for warrior two. Now from here, we can straighten our front leg. We're going to reach out over our front foot coming into triangle. For an added challenge, 
we can now look down towards our front foot. We'll bring our hands to the ground to start, and then we'll lift our back leg up for half moon. But when there's two half moons, it actually makes a hole. We connect our back foot, and if we find our balance, we can hold our hands that are down on the ground. From here, let's come back through warrior two. We'll reconnect our front foot. I'm gonna put my arm around my partner. And from here, we're gonna push off that front leg to come into warrior three. Or pie. Pie, 3.14. Nice, let's switch legs and reach our inner leg together. So we really look like pie. And then safely down. From here, we can come into crescent warriors. So we're gonna take our knees, we're gonna face each other, and we're gonna lean into that back leg. We're gonna reach our arms up to the sky, forearm to the thigh for crescent warrior. So from crescent warrior pose, we can move right into world peace, windmilling our hands down to frame that outside foot. We're gonna drop down on our knees, tops of the feet to the floor, and we're gonna reach our arms up to the sky ah, for world peace. So now we're going to move into one of our most silly partner poses, but still one of our favorites. We're going to come into partner monkeys. So we're going to stand back to back, stepping our feet out wide, hopping them out, reach your arms up to the sky, leaving a little bit of space, tushy to tushy, folding over our legs, holding hands, and then moving side to side. Silly monkeys. And then pausing, we can take a big deep breath, straightening our legs, looking out. Ah. Rolling forwards, once again, silly monkey, side to side. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we can connect opposite arms, holding on to our right arms, lifting our left arm up for a really nice stretch. And then what we do on one side, we have to do on the other. So switching, opposite arms connecting. And then one more time, holding hands, silly monkey, side to side. Ooh, <laughs> Good times. From here, you want to move into bunk bed? Yes. So Go for one it. of my favorite poses. So I'm going to come onto my bottom, and I'm going to sit with my knees up, feet flat on the floor, hands behind my back, fingers facing forward. I'm going to come into a table pose. Jen's going to stand either around my legs, she could stand in between my legs, whatever's easier for her, and find my shoulders first. First my shoulders. Then she's going to step up one foot at a time right onto my knees. Then she's gonna lift her belly up to the sky to make bunk beds. Now, I'll bet you think this might be really hard. And it's a fun pose and a challenging pose, but it's a little easier than you think. Do you wanna know why? Because we're stacking our bones. So it's not like I'm holding Jen in my arms, right? Our, our bones are stacked and she's a lot lighter that way than it looks. Thank you, Shari. My pleasure. From here, let's move into plank stairs. I'm going to come into plank pose. And I'm going to reach my hands onto Shari's ankles. And again, I'm not going to dig my toes into her back. I'm going to take the tops of my feet. And I'm not going to lay down. I'm going to lift my hips and find my own plank pose for plank stairs. Now, my legs are a little wider than normal for plank pose. And that's just to give Jen more stability. And then very carefully, I'm going to come down and Shari can come down. And then while we're down, we can move into our partner Hershey kiss pose. So coming to sit back to back, we're gonna just put our hands on the tops of our heads so we don't bunk heads. Little teacher trick. Hand helmet. And slowly coming down. And from here, we're gonna connect again the tops of our feet, lifting on up to make the top of a Hershey kiss. Let's imagine we were out in the sun. Uh -oh. Uh oh, we started melting, melting down. Oh no. And slowly rolling out. Good stuff. And I think that's it, Cherry. How did we go through all those partner poses so fast? The great news is we're constantly inventing new poses. So check back with us often because we may have a lot more to share with you in the future. Some of the benefits of partner poses are eye contact, trust, communication, teamwork, creativity, and of course, fun. And fun with your friends, there's nothing better than that.
But if you're interested in learning more about our comprehensive children's yoga teacher training program, where we not only include partner poses, but group poses, yoga games, so much information, please visit our website at karmakidsyoga.com. Thanks for playing yoga with us. Have a great day. Bye.